next time you see somebody speaking bad of your church somebody speaking bad of your pastors somebody speaking bad of your group i want you immediately to distance yourself from such a person no two ways about it don't be shy about it don't be religious about it cut ties with such a person delete such a person from your life because deception can really destroy are you hearing me yeah. repeating a lie in the heels of somebody will be accepted as truth along the way if somebody keeps on telling you the pastor is bad the pastor is bad the pastor is bad in the beginning you may say maybe not maybe that maybe 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 after a while it will become true that is what you call deception you think it's true but it's not true are you hearing me the second reason why people leave church is because of deception because they have been deceived they followed a drunkard who suddenly told them that your group is no good <laughs> listen to me somebody who is out there will inform you about your church where for over a year you've been attending twice a week this person has not been here but he's telling you let me tell you a secret about your church you also open your ears <laughs> really you have seen your father in the Lord in his ups and down every day you see him stand here tell you the same thing somebody who doesn't know him will come and inform you of him Jesus Christ looked at the disciples. He said, and you, who do you say that I am? Do you know my identity? People may say what they say, but you, who do you say? Are you hearing me? Deception, be careful. It will lead you wrong. There were angels of God. Today we call them demons. Today we cast them out. Why? Because they are fallen angels because of deception do not become a fallen angel are you hearing me this is a house of power this is a house of glory we see the evidence every day who will tell you the contrary of what you see yourself on a daily basis somebody help me say the devil is a liar yeah. 